it is a unique project as on today around 8000 acres and also special economic zone domestic tariff zone free trade warehousing zone and electronics manufacturing clusters everything they have established here so for 220 companies they are able to mobilize here that is amazing work they have done 30 countries are present here it is a unique experience always we are, we are talking about bring foreign investment everything this one example where different countries 30 countries are present in one premises here various industries automotive electronics fmcg food processing and various industries are located here and also 4.5 billion us dollars investment export alone nearly 4 billion us dollars that is a very amazing experiment they have done global brands like isuzu cobelco mandelja pepsico kellogg's alstom foxconn colgate palmolive and several more are all here always this area is very interesting area one side chennai another side nellur krishnapatnam third side is tirupati these three places are also very important places chennai always 55 km from here one of the best urban infrastructure and also we, we were all in chennai once madras presidency state at that time on the days even karnataka south india totally are in chennai as a capital and also krishnapatnam nellore you are having one of the best port chennai there is a port krishnapatnam there is a port tirupati one of the best city emerging because of uh, lord balaji one of the most powerful god i strongly believe it living god in this century so this are all uh, again very very excellent land educational institutions we can add some more for human resource development all these things are available so we wanted to work here to make one of the best economic zone we can you can you may not find anywhere i want to create that equal to sanjan or better than that all these things we are working in that uh, direction even they have done very good work they are able to recognize as on today igbc golden rating sri city is on the track to upgrade now platinum by becoming entirely carbon negative i told him just now while coming whenever i come here wherever whenever i go anywhere i am always evaluating critically i ask him first question what is the rain water you are harnessing in this area he told me around 60% i asked him at the earliest he had to do 100% rain water harnessing has to be done in this premises thereby greenery and so many advantages will come that is where there won't be any water scarcity anyway there is no water scarcity because this scz is very rich in all infrastructure facilities three airports three ports for competition also from tomorrow onwards very good national highway connecting tirupati chennai nellore and also we are going to connect international internal roads and also three airports chennai even tirupati one or more airport in nellore all three airports are going to come so these are all best infrastructure 
we are going to provide here. Here, I am very happy the way they are working. Most livable industrial zone I want to make it. Not only I ask him what is the temperature. By coming here, temperature should be less compared to outside. People should love to come here. That is how everybody will think industrial zone, industrial area will be, will be very hot. Here 50% countries refrigeration or uh, air conditioning you are providing here. Then why can't you make Sri city itself naturally cooling? It is possible. Then it will be a reflection for your cooling the country. Just now I told all of you are here. I am giving a good challenge. You are asking me cost effective logistics, ultimately cost effective production. For all these things we need skills, capacities and also everywhere you have to reduce efficiency you have to bring, thereby you have to increase, enhance the productivity. Ultimately production cost, logistics cost, we have to reduce as far as possible. I am with you, we will work in that direction. That is the main work we are doing now. From Andhra Pradesh, logist logistics cost should be very cost effective. That is how I am going to work in near future. Here we are building Amaravati, a new capital. Long back, I started 10 years back. One of the best concept, this is land pooling. Even, I didn't spend even one rupee, 34,000 acres of land. 29,000 of farmers gave voluntarily under land pooling. It is a win-win situation. Now we want to go for district cooling, not individual units. We are, this last time we have discussed it with uh, some partners also, we agreed also. Now we can come solutions, which is the best way, very cost effective, and also what is the best infrastructure we, are, we can create for district cooling. As on today, we are getting fiber at home, power to home, water to home, sewerage, all these things we are doing, one, two, two. There also we are getting ducts, all these things. Ultimately, even AC should come through pipeline, not only gas. That is what we are working. You can come with the innovative idea, which country, which state has done extremely well. I want to know from all of you. Here, again, 62,000 people have created employment. That is a good gesture and also a good way. Maximum employment we were able to create. 50% are women. Always, we are focusing more on women, women empowerment. You have done this. I really thanking all of you. And also, here, investment in India. There are so many advantages. By 2029, India will become third largest economy. I am confident we can achieve before that. We are preparing now Vision 2047. 2047, India will become either number one or number two, that is our goal. We are preparing our vision document. For this, we are having some advantages. One is, we are the first mover in information technology to adopt it. Now in information technology we have gone up to 
artificial intelligence that is the biggest advantage indians are having second one india fortunately had an occasion advantage of demographic advantage dividend other countries somehow they are unable to manage population but naturally india got that advantage at this stage up to 2047 india will have this advantage our average age is 29 years that is the biggest advantage we are having now i am talking about demographic management from now on what south india we are having a problem now population is declining north india population is increasing there is a imbalance so i am talking now population management increase more population without uh, people whom we can serve without people your ac is where it will go there is population to service that is where i am talking about it i am confident earlier i had done population control now i am talking about population promotion that is one policy and also we are working linking of rivers if we can do in india linking of rivers then agriculture we can feed the global community huge chunk of land all these things we are having advantages another area i am working power fuel this is a new era we are going to witness in the near future god blessed india with sunlight now solar revolution we i am we are planning now hybrid model solar wind pumped energy battery and also hydel and also thermal to get cost effective solution that is where we are working and at the same time evm we are focusing more and if you can go through totally petrol diesel all these things are going to reduce drastically in course of time thereby we can control pollution that is going to come in the near future so what we are going from then onwards india is well positioned for green hydrogen and downstream industries if you can go to green hydrogen andhra pradesh is well positioned because of ports in east coast nearly 1000 kilometers coastline already we are having 6 to 7 ports we are increasing another 3 ports we are going to construct another 7 airports are there another 5 6 and we wanted to connect from village to port marketplace headquarter everywhere that is how we are planning infrastructure in a big way so with all these things again employment is very crucial this type of population we want to create more and more employment we want to focus on employment generation and also product perfection this is also important issue india is working now how to make product perfection that is another exercise for all these things we are going skill census first of its kind in india even some of the countries may not have done this every citizen we are having 5 crore population working population 3.74 crores i wanted to go for skill census thereby globally what is the required skills for 20 years from now onwards how to integrate backward for skill upgradation and human resource development nowadays technologies are coming iot is even cell phone is a 
uh, exactly 25 years back, I used to talk about cell phone. Then everybody used to heckle me, cell phone can feed anybody. Today, cell phone has become a necessity for everybody. Now, apps have come, analytics have come, artificial intelligence is reality, drones have come, either pest detection, pest control, mosquito control, road condition evaluation, anything for that matter. Even buildings, construction, quality, inspection, everything. It is a new era, new world we are going to live in the near future. So with all new approaches we are coming, there we are aiming 15% growth rate next 25 years. There I need investment, industrial friends in a big way. And also finally, zero poverty also I am planning. This is where, if you can see in India, we are creating wealth because of economic reforms P3 formula, public-private people's partnership. And now because of this, we are able to create wealth. Government is getting some revenue. But at the same time, disparities of economic inequalities are increasing. Now that is where we are talking about zero poverty. Top 10%, even industrial friends, can adopt bottom 20%. Mentoring, hand-holding, helping, short-term, medium-term, long-term, we have to take into consideration people as capital. We are all politicians. Issue is, we have, we have to run in democracy political governance. My stakeholders are public and also industry and others, everybody, employees, everybody. I have to balance everybody. This is the new concept we are taking. There also I need your cooperation, how to work it out, how to eradicate poverty, how to empower continuously, lost by overall really suffering. And uh, ultimately, these are all few thoughts I want to share you. In uh, this uh, area, even some of our friends, Japanese firms, they told me, power incentives, power quality, property tax, uh, acceleration, and also to improve public governance, improve transparency, accountability, EDV road shows to Japan, Korea, and US to attract investment, Isuzu. Again, he invited me to come to Japan, certainly, and also Daikin, Global air condition exports from Sri City. Skilling. He referred about uh, skilling in a big way. That is uh, one more uh, request he has done. For the last five years, my successor never visited this place. That itself is an indication you don't know the value of investment. Generally, in India also, not all, majority are working for investment and creating employment. We used to compete with each other. There were days, states used to compete with each other. If you go back 20 years back, only Bangalore city was IT presence. India. IT means only Bangalore. Then I challenged Bangalore. Then I want to promote investment to Hyderabad. At that time, my counterpart used to counter me, how can you attract investment to Hyderabad? Hyderabad is nowhere in the map of IT. Then I made one by one company. Ultimately, he gave a statement, I cannot compete with you, we will work together. 
This is where we have to compete, complement with each other for a healthy competition. Then only things will happen. Today, Hyderabad is better or equal to Bangalore. Everything is possible. All these things have happened at the last time, 25 years time only. Huge incentives are pending. I am aware. I was inherited very bad treasury. There is no money, but will create wealth at the earliest installment wise. I will um, release all your incentives. That is uh, my commitment. I will do it. And also infrastructure gaps such as road, industrial water, power. This is another uh, issue is uh, there in for uh, industries that also will do. Even irrational high tariffs on water, they increased abnormally. I have seen that. And also other inputs also. I am assuring you immediately we will rationalize. Very soon I am going to bring a policy. There I am I'm giving very clear clarity for all of you. We will do it. We will reduce. We will bring competitive price. Even original price what you have given at that time. That is how I am going to get that, price, that policy also. Even fees and charges I told you. This is where you are asking here property tax that also will control, will rationalize, will do that, that also. And also law and order, today I have started on police station here, one of the best police station. Even in Hyderabad at that time, I started on police station Cyberabad. Even now it is better than that with the modern equipment, everything, we are going to provide one of the best police station. And also, you will have, you don't have any problem of law and order. That is my assurance. If I come, automatically law and order will be controlled. I was inherited some problems. Drugs, ganjai, rowdyism, criminalization, all these things, but I am ruthless. I made it very clear, zero tolerance on law and order. I will implement and I, I will execute, I will maintain law and order that is our commitment. And also some more, here only, I brought at the time one institute, one of the best uh, autonomous body. They brought their reservations. This is a very sometimes irrational also. We have to help everybody. There is a way of educating, there is a way of accommodating, or otherwise they are competitive, then we can do one thing. We'll give visas, everything. This, uh, that is not the way, but that also I will think over how to do it. Even here, I wanted to go for skill development in a big way. Required skills I can provide and I am requesting all of you to recruit local people as far as possible you are doing that, 90% you are doing that. But they brought one act, 75% mandated for local people. This type of things may not help us by creating competitive spirit, skill development, Automatically, compared to other states' persons, here, labor and productivity is more efficient, you will engage local people only. This type of uh, acts also we are reviewing, we will uh, take some action. Finally, some of the industrialists, at least you are here, every year our fire department, they are giving permission every year. I used to give once in five years. I used to introduce so many regulations at that time, deemed class also. Sometimes some officer may not give permission. Then you have to go on meeting him, all these things. Okay, one day my application I have given. 
30 days after 30 days deemed permission class i introduced even today straight away i'm telling you fire department all industries not every year i will restore once in 5 years they have to renew it. <laughs> then only freeness will come easy way of doing business will come last time if you can go you can recollect ease of doing business we are number one not one year four years we are number one continuously during my tenure nobody can compete with me on ease of doing business other states always somebody is doing better i will do still better there is a scope that is how we have to compete now i am talking up speed of doing business not only ease of doing business you have to go for speed of doing business how to speed it up ever wrong renewals permissions or service any services you have to provide all these things i want to do it and also cost of production cost of logistics reduction how to do it cost effective solutions how to bring it this also will focus and ultimately andhra pradesh will be a preferred and also very good destination for all of you once you land in andhra pradesh you will be very happy you will be safe and you will get better profits compared to any other area that is how we want to create this place i really appreciate all of you for giving me this opportunity we are going to create all policies within another 20 days time 100 days recently i called cai and other uh, business organizations i spent time with them even uh, tata chairman chandrasekhar has accepted to be the co chairperson of uh, investment promotion board i will be the chairperson you will be the co chairperson so that all eminent industrial friends i want to invite create excellent policies and also execute all these things and review periodically so that we will have good advantage so this type of uh, new ideas i am coming here any time you want to meet you can meet me we will have a detailed interaction also if necessary some more brainstorming that will help us win win situation with this i am always by meeting you i will forget about my time but at the same time i will recollect again time is moving i have to go to some other program i have to balance everything